Minister of Canada on Party Lock Devlin, Dr. Evan Gilmore. Um, Cancorla, uh, I want to raise with the Taoiseach this morning a tax scam that was uh, first raised by my colleague, uh, Deputy Joan Burton, and uh, which in 2006 cost the Irish Exchequer uh, about 250 million euro. Uh, and this is the tax scam whereby um, developers purchasing development land uh, can get away without paying stamp duty. As I understand it, the way it works, uh, developers buying development land pays over the money to the landowner. Um, the landowner enters into a license agreement with the developer to allow the developer to develop the land and grants power of attorney uh, to the uh, developer. Uh, but the sale is not formally completed to the point where title is formally transferred and therefore is not stamped and therefore stamp duty is not payable. Now, as I said, Deputy Joan Burton first spotted uh, this loophole in our tax code, drew it, the Minister for Finance's attention to it. Uh, the Revenue Commissioners recommended that the loophole be closed. In 2007, the Minister for Finance introduced legislation to close the loophole, but it would appear that the boys in the Galway tent got to work and uh, the section of the Act was never commenced. Now, as I said, uh, it is estimated that the amount lost to the Exchequer in 2006 was 250 million euro, which is a lot of money uh, for a government that Minister Dermot Ahern tells us hasn't a red cent uh, to build a hospital. So, what I want to ask uh, you, Taoiseach, this morning is, can you explain to um, home buyers who have had to pay stamp duty for the purchase of their home, some of whom have paid stamp duty for homes that they purchased that are now worth a lot less than the money they paid for them? Uh, or can you explain to people who are still paying stamp duty, trading up and uh, so on, why it is that uh, people buying a family home have to pay stamp duty and have had to pay stamp duty, whereas big developers buying land for development purposes uh, can get away without paying stamp duty, and why that provision of the, 90, or the 2007 Finance Act has not yet been commenced. Thank you, Mark. Um, perhaps my understanding of uh, basic economics is less than the Taoiseach's, but I, I don't understand Taoiseach. Uh, I don't understand Taoiseach why uh, you can keep stamp duty, albeit on a changed rate, on the purchase of houses. And you say that won't affect the property market. But you, if you pay stamp duty, if a developer buying development land pays stamp duty, on land that he mightn't develop for many years to come yet, and we know from the amount of hoarding that has been going on of development land, particularly in Dublin, uh, the length of time that elapses between the purchase of the land and the actual development of it, that somehow that's going to have a catastrophic effect uh, on the market. That's rubbish. Uh, you're providing a shelter uh, for uh, people who are buying, and you're talking about the big guys here. You're talking about big developers here, and big high rolling uh, development land purchases. That's what's, being, uh, that's what's being protected here. And telling us that it's been around for some time, well that makes it worse. That means it's been around from the time when there was really serious money being made uh, from uh, people who were purchasing uh, their first home and trying to make a home from themselves uh, from the amount of profiteering that was going on uh, in, the, in the property market. That doesn't make, that doesn't offer any comfort. And yesterday, since you reminded us of yesterday, yesterday I asked you about the statement that the absent Minister Gormley uh, made last week when he said that he was going to, the government was going to bring in a new windfall tax on land and the sale of land. Now, Taoiseach, how on earth do you expect us to believe that the government is going to bring in a new windfall tax on development land when you won't even implement the taxes that you've already got on the statute book? This doesn't make sense. This is a gift, uh, and it's a gift to people 
who are making big money on, development, on the exchange of development land, who have made big money on it, who have made massive uh, profits on it, you are giving, giving them something back at a time that government finances are tightening. You have a measure on the statute book that you're not implementing. And as for this uh, report that you got from, uh, uh, from Good Bodies, that was nothing more than a survey of developers. And what else would they have they told? Were the only ones what else would they have told Good Bodies but that they were, that they didn't want to implement it?